Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Kingdom Galvatron fix. Well, this one isn't as much of a fix as my last video, but something to at least clean him up. For some reason, Hasbro seems to think we love to have battle damage on our figures. You'd think after the Siege line, they'd realize that no, we do not like that dirty look. Now, this video is inspired by T-Man 978. I saw him do this same fix on his Galvatron, so I thought I'd try it out myself. So all you need is some 91% alcohol. I went with 91 because I thought 90 was too weak. I have a soft cloth here. This is a detailing rag I got from AutoZone for the Jeep. And I've got some Q-tips for those fine, small areas that the rag may not reach. Now, before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button right now because it won't cost you a thing, but it'll help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. I'm less than 300 away. So now, let's get this grimy Galvatron all cleaned up. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Okay, now the spots we are going to tackle, he's got smudge up here on his chest, there's some down here on the wrist, and down here right on the ankles. So, first things first, let's get the cloth, get the alcohol, and let's just do a little corner here. All right, oh, that smells wonderful. So, let's try down here on the ankles first. You can see it's got that gray smudge right there. Now, I'm not applying a lot of... Wow, look at that. I am barely applying any pressure, and that came right off. This was way easier than I thought. Hey, look at that. I am barely touching the figure. I haven't even refreshed the alcohol on the cloth. And we'll have to need to get a Q-tip right there. Let's see, there we go. So yeah, there's the ankles now. Man, that looks so much better. So now, let's hit the wrist. I still got alcohol on the cloth. Let's see, let's do a little bit just get a little bit more on there. Okay, dry my fingers. I don't want to have alcohol dripping all over the figure. So now we're going for the wrist here. Okay, this. The wrist doesn't seem to want to come off like the chest did. Huh. Okay, that may take a little bit more work. Yeah, the wrist, wrist smudge isn't moving. All right, let's try up here on the chest. All right, T-Man made this look a lot easier than what it really is. I'm actually putting some pressure now. I don't want to rub off my Decepticon symbol, so be careful with that. It's barely coming off. I don't know what, what the deal is here. Oops, got some on. Yeah, they came off no problem with the ankles. But for the chest, this is proving to be more of a challenge than I thought. I mean, it's coming off, but nowhere near as easy 
as it did for T-Man. I had my hopes up with the ankles. I thought this is going to be an easy fix. But yeah, you can see, there it is. It's coming off. But nowhere near as easy as the ankles. Or maybe it's my cloth. I don't know. So, yeah, it's coming. So, you may have to apply a little bit more pressure when taking the smudge off the chest. But, yeah, it's starting to look better. Fortunately, the plastic underneath is the purple collar, so you don't have to worry about taking any of the purple off. But there you go. We've got that side looking good. So let me go ahead and do the rest of Galvatron, and we'll be right back. A few moments later. And now you have Kingdom Galvatron all nice and shiny and smudge free. This looks great. Now I did have to put forth a little bit more elbow grease than I thought I would, but still, all I used was the cloth and the Q-tips. I used the cloth at first here on the wrist and then went at it with the q-tips and there's still a little bit in there that i need to take out but man this looks so much better now and actually wasn't bad to do i didn't mess up the decepticon insignia of course with my luck that would have been lightly painted on like the ankles and one slip up it would have been gone but hey that's what toy hacks is for i wish the rest of the smudge was as easy to take off as the ankles but still, not a bad fix for stuff that you should have around your house. Alcohol, a rag, and Q-tips. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!